Hi guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at neutralisation. But before we get into neutralisation, we need to take a closer look at what is meant by the term acid. We've seen in previous videos that acids have a sharp taste and that they're usually found in citrus fruits. But chemically, what is an acid? Chemically, an acid is a solution of hydrogen ions. We have aqueous hydrogen ions. This happens because all acids are soluble in water. For example, um, hydrochloric acid. We would give it the state symbol AQ. Because when hydrogen chloride dissolves in water, it produces a hydrogen ion and it also produces a chloride ion. Both of these ions are soluble, so they're aqueous, they're in this solution. And let's look at an alkali. In our previous video, we looked at a few examples of alkalis, and we said that alkalis contain these hydroxide ions. And this right here is our hydroxide ion. Well, let's look at what happens when we dissolve an alkali in water. Here I've got sodium hydroxide and it's aqueous, it can dissolve in water. Now when I dissolve my sodium hydroxide in water, we're going to get two ions forming. We're going to form a sodium ion, which is aqueous, and we're also going to form our hydroxide ion. The ion that's present in all alkalis. And this is also aqueous. In your exam you may be asked for the ionic equation between an acid and an alkali. We can think of an acid as just being these hydrogen ions. And when we add an acid to an alkali, which we can think of just being hydroxide ions. When we add an acid to an alkali, we produce water. And if you remember from previous videos, we said that water is a neutral substance. So whenever we add an acid to an alkali, you can think of it as a neutralization reaction. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay in touch for another video.